next. The U.S. Army pushed to the brink. That's the conclusion of the Army's own report released today. It is a portrait of drug use, suicide and crime among soldiers all soaring. The report actually says, quote, we are often more dangerous to ourselves than the enemy. Martha Raddatz has the human cost of what the Army found. The toll of the wars has never been made more clear, with an army sometimes unprepared for the devastating impact on the health of the troops. Just look at these figures. One third of soldiers are now taking prescription drugs, antidepressants, anxiety medications and pain pills. Amphetamine use has doubled since 2006. Sexual offenses have tripled since 2003. Domestic abuse is up 177% in the past six years. And the most stunning, more soldiers died in 2009 from non-combat injuries than at war, with the vast majority of those from suicide, murder, or high-risk behavior like drunk driving. That is another startling revelation in the report. More than ever, the Army is now attracting soldiers who are predisposed to risk-taking. The soldiers know full well they will face combat, and they like the thrill it offers, as seen in this documentary. You can't, you can't get a better high. It's like crack, you know? Once you've been shot at, you really can't come down. There's nothing, you can't top that. How are you going to go back to the civilian world, then? I have no idea. And that has been where the majority of the problems arise, back home. Nearly 80% of Army suicides take place in the U.S. 36-year-old Chris Galloway shot himself six weeks after returning from Afghanistan last year. Something happened over there that totally changed him. The report blames the Army for failing to detect signs of troubling behavior while it focuses on fighting two wars. It's time for the Army to take a hard look at itself, to sit down and say, okay, what are those things that came lower in our priority list that we need to reinstitute, reinforce, and start doing to get at this problem? There are 250 recommendations in the report, but the Army has already implemented 240 of them and has made some progress. Diane? An Army pushed so hard. Thank you, Martha Raddatz. And it brings us to a troubling revelation about the nation's most hallowed military cemetery, Arlington. A Senate hearing revealed graves misidentified, caskets mixed up at an estimated 6,600 grave sites. Senator Claire McCaskill blasted the Army officials responsible for running the cemetery. We've got waste, we've got abuse, and we've got fraud. We've got the trifecta. And we have it concerning a national treasure. She is calling for a section-by-section -section investigation of Arlington. That's 300,000 grave sites in all.